Christ and St. Joseph in the Carpenter Studio by the French painter Georges de la Tour is in the collection of the Louvre. This painting invites the viewer into an intimate conversation between Christ and his earthly father figure. As Christ is speaking, Joseph seems to be just now realizing something astonishing about his adopted son. Joseph's puzzled expression visualizes a transformation of his spiritual consciousness. But furthermore, Latour skillfully awakens his presumed 17th century Christian viewer's imagination to the spiritual significance of this moment. This raises a question. How do we measure the success of an artwork. Perhaps the accomplishment of Latour's painting can be discerned by the distance he was able to create between, on the one hand, what his image visually depicts, and on the other hand, the ideas or questions that his art forms in the viewer's mind. Latour depicts a mundane scene in which Christ holds a candle as Joseph works into the night. This painting, however, is a visual revelation of so much more. As we look carefully and allow our imagination to inhabit the space that Latour creates, a complex spiritual interaction between Christ and Joseph develops. Bending over as he bores a hole into a beam of wood, Joseph has paused to focus his attention on what Christ is saying. Without lifting his head, Joseph looks intently at Christ. Joseph's questioning glance towards Christ suggests that he has abruptly stopped his work in an attempt to fully grasp what he has been told. But what has Christ just said to cause this reaction? This is where Latour's art expands beyond what it depicts. His painting includes several details that orient the viewer's imagination. One of the focal points in Latour's composition is the candle. Providing the only light in the scene the single flame creates an atmosphere of sacred mystery. But notice how the light seems to pass through Christ's hand. His hand is made semi-transparent by the light, visualizing Christ as both flesh and spirit. Perhaps this is the moment in which a perplexed Joseph is recognizing that the boy he has been charged with raising is actually the incarnate God. And notice how Joseph holds a tool called an auger, which has the shape of a cross. Perhaps Christ has just announced that he has been born to die on a cross and that his incarnation and crucifixion are for Joseph's salvation. While the Tour's depicted motif is Joseph's spiritual awakening, this painting is also a revelation to the presumed Christian viewer. By depicting Joseph in a moment between hearing and comprehension, the Tour situates his viewer between seeing and believing. In Georges de la Tour's Christ and St. Joseph in the Carpenter Studio, the space between the painting's simple naturalism and the complex spiritual reality that it visualizes is both intimate and infinite.